Dear Marie or Mum, it still feels wrong calling you that after all that happened, but I'm trying to leave the past where it belongs. I don't want to hold on to those memories anymore or live in these conditions. I've tried to look after the house as best as I possibly could in case you ever decided to come back. But the time has now come where I need to leave. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going, so don't come and look for me if you realise I'm gone. I haven't been doing too well living here alone. Being alone isn't the problem. The problem is living under the same roof that it happened. I'm done. I'm done reminiscing on the past. I don't need that anymore. It's time for me to escape that mess. I'm growing up and you're missing out on that. You haven't wrote to me in months, so I'm just going to assume you've moved on. And I get it. You forgot to cancel the Hightail magazine subscription, so I'm telling you in this letter, hence you're wasting any more money on it. I started to run out of normal food about a week ago, which let me know it was time to go. I haven't told the neighbours where I'm going. I still talk to Cassandra and Frank though. They've always been so helpful. I did miss you to begin with. But I realised I can go just fine on my own. It was quiet without you. And you always knew I was scared of being home alone. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. So if we meet again in another life, I hope it goes well. But for now, goodbye, Mum. Give us back to God, just like the setting sun is returned to the lonesome ocean. And then they splashed into the deep blue sea. static with the whole must memorize nine numbers and deny we have a soul into this endless race for property and privilege to be won we must run we must run we must run we must hang up in the belfry where the bats and moonlight laugh we must stare into a crystal ball and only see the past into the castle